I recall as a child I was a stutter. As even as I mentioned those words, I can go back and reflect in my mind. Back in the third grade down in uh, Dell City Elementary School, I was in Ms. Kurt's class. And the very first time that I knew that I was stuttering is I got up in front of the class and I was supposed to do the addition. I was supposed to do like one plus one plus one and then explain it. And as I was stuttering, there was a guy in the front of the room. I still remember him, Kevin, right in the front room. And, and Kevin started laughing and I was trying to get it out and I could see the words and I was trying to say it. And Ms. Kurt said, Shay, just take your time, take your time. And it was during recess while playing kickboard, uh, kickball that he said, you know what, you don't know how to talk. And I was like, I, I do, but, and so it's amazing that even right now that I'm having this conversation with you because when I went home and I was talking to my mom, she kind of explained that sometimes we talk fast. And so she never said I was a stutter. She said that I talk fast and that sometimes other folks don't think as fast as I talk. And she said those words that sticks and stones may break your bones, but what? That's right, you know. Words, they never hurt. But that's not quite true, Mother dear. It just isn't. Those words, they burn. Even to this day, sometimes you remember things that you were told as a child, and it's right down there. And although you try to bury it, you, you try to get rid of it, even as an adult. Many years later, when I was at Morgan State University, I remember Dr. Thomas J. Wilcox, my professor in speech class, used to always tell me, you can do it, you can do it, and think about it. And by then I was in college and still talking fast and still stuttering. So, you know, they say sticks and stones may break your bones, but words never hurt. They do hurt. They hurt for a very long time. But um, one thing I do know is they say that sometimes your childhood memories are your best memories, but they also, they can be your toughest memories.